There's huge amounts of hype at the moment around 5G, the next generation mobile technology set to appear within the next couple of years. We're here at Huawei's MBBF event in London to find out why 5G is such a big deal. Of course, official standards for the technology are not yet confirmed. So when will we see 5G commercially launched? The uh, first release of the 5G standards is going to be like in um, 2019. Um, and a realistic roadmap would be in waves. At end of 2019, with things around millimeter wave and very sophisticated use cases all the way peaking up till 2025. In Korea, our computer has already started the 5G services targeting the Winter Olympic Games next year. So we also have to prepare a, the, uh, our own solutions and have to compete with our computers. Docomo is planning to launch the 5G system by year of 2020. 2020 is a great year for our Tokyo Olympic Games in Tokyo. Therefore, that is one of the target of our 5G launch. What I can say is that we are targeting to uh, have a commercial launch uh, in 2020 after having made some com commercial, pre-commercial trials. Getting to 5G won't be a simple path. There are plenty of challenges ahead. When I think about 5G and the challenges, I think about four things. One is spectrum. The second one is regulation, especially because we're enabling different industries. The third one is interoperability. And last but not the least, I think about how do we translate all our 5G talk into things like healthcare so that they understand things in a way that they can use. So businesses have to be right, so the business cases and um, the rollout. What we also see, which is related to 5G as other developments in technology, that we see that we probably need a lot more antennas, those antennas eat more energy. So we will see development. On, on the other hand, we have to uh, deal with the costs and that will be a challenge. Currently, time schedule is the key challenging point. For the uh, Korean situations, we have to start earlier than other countries. It means that we have to test and evaluate for the first time in the world with the unproven product in the market. So that may be the key challenging point for us, I think. If there's one thing that's needed for 5G to be a success, it's partnerships. The whole mobile ecosystem needs to come together to realize its true potential. Huawei is set to be a major player. We are now having 13 uh, global vendors to collaborate for expanding our 5G technologies. Huawei is one of the most important partners in that uh, 5G uh, tested. We have um, partner, partnership with, uh, I think, every key players of the industry. Uh, Huawei, obviously, one of, one of them. Because uh, next year, we may need to start the commercial service. It means that uh, we need a the very close relationship from now on. So I think that Huawei could provide that relationship as well. So that's an overview of 5G developments at this year's MBBF in London. Who knows, maybe a next year's show will have some real life commercial progress to report on.